Hey Scorpio, how you doing? I'm uh, going to do a quick read here for you and just kind of check in on your energy and um, let's see what's going on. It is a general reading, so just take what resonates, leave the rest out. All right, let's see what we got going on here for Scorpio. What's going on here for Scorpio? Got the Five of Cups. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. Page of Swords, overall energy here as well. I'm going to do a card for it, but we do have the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is trying to make a choice. Somebody is spying. Um, there is some obsessive thinking going on here. Some sort of um, obsession here. Someone's trying to make something work. We have the moon here at the bottom. Uh, or not at the bottom, just as your overall. I don't know why I got getting confused with this uh, this energy over here. Because it's like not letting someone go. That's kind of the feeling. Now with the moon card here, it is uh, Pisces, Cancer Energy. This is a card of awakening as well. Okay. Deep thoughts or maybe like dreams or vivid dreams of some sort here. So maybe somebody is having dreams of you or you are having dreams of someone but with the five of cups um, this is an energy of focusing on something here that is, is done um, and it feels as though you know somebody's not seeing those cups behind them right it's losing it feels as though missing out on opportunities or maybe someone feels like they missed out on an opportunity um, with the devil energy, someone is very ex obsessed. Um, and then the page of swords, I feel like this is spying energy here. So let's see. I can get more cards here. I need some clarifiers on the five of cups. Five of cups, please. Yeah, the queen of pentacles. It feels as like they, they have their eye on you. Um, you're kind of in this focusing on your finances, working hard. Um, kind of just taking control of things here. Let's see the devil. The three of wands. Somebody is looking out. Someone's really looking at you. I feel like there's a big spying type of energy here. Let's see the page of swords. We have the wheel. Let's see the moon. We have the empress. With the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck here in the Page of Cups. So it's like somebody is really obsessing to come forward to communicate here with you. They're having a lot of emotions. Kind of unsure how they can walk up to an Empress though, you know. Um, this is someone that kind of has their, has everything together. Very strong energy, knows their value. Um, and it feels as though this person is having a lot of deep thoughts about this Empress. A lot of dreams a lot of um you know just thinking about this person all the time now with the page of swords with the wheel here it feels as though um there is going to be some unexpected communication something here that is coming in for you really what throws me off again is just devil energy it's it just kind of like i'm trying to figure out if this is going if this is like more of obsessive or a toxic type of connection so let's see tell me more on this three of wands and the devil we have the world I mean this could be something to where somebody is leaving a toxic situation and the three of wands energy is moving towards a new path moving or looking out what else is out there and it feels as though someone is wanting to come towards you. Let's see the Five of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here. You kind of feel like the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, someone's thinking about moving towards you, wanting to offer something here. You just don't see, there's no communication as well. This is why this person is spying on you, but you don't see that there's going to be communication or at least someone feels like they're ghosted or maybe you have this person blocked let's see the moon and the empress we have the nine of cups you are their wish fulfillment 
Interesting. I mean, they're coming like ten of wands. You can see in the deck though, this person has kind of like got the bags packed and they're moving towards you. Okay, this is like they're done. Whatever situation that they're in, nine of wands right underneath that, um, with strength. It's like they're building up the courage to, to move forward here. You know, high priestess, high priestess strength, nine of wands and a ten of wands. It's like using their intuition and ha and building up the courage to move forward here and communicate. Um, it feels as though they're still working through or leaving a toxic situation or at least working on something toxic. Maybe they are working on their own shadows um, before coming towards you because it feels as though they need to come correct towards you here. Um, there is blocked communication though, five of pentacles. There is no communication. Um, like I said, either you have this person blocked or maybe this person blocked you in the past, but the wheel here is like something is unexpectedly changing to where it moves you. I mean, this person just sees you as, you know, the Empress, the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, the Moon here. It feels as though this person had an awakening. This person woke up to this connection and wants to move forward. So what is the outcome? What's, what's going to happen here when this person does communicate? It seems like they will. What's the outcome of this connection then? We have the sun. And the queen of wands here with temperance. So it feels as though, you know, um, you know, somebody, you know, the queen of wands energy is someone here that um, when they want something, like they, they, they go get it, okay? They're very... Um, it's like a visionary, but you know, not the king of wands energy, but the queen of wands is like very confident that they'll get what they want. And it feels as though you, you and this connection are going to be, I mean, it's just, it's a lot of fire energy. You have temperance. It just balanced out. I mean, this, this connection ends up being a balanced out, nice connection. I just feel like they're walking away from something that's toxic. It's really what's going on here. And it could be with the Four of Cups here, um, you know, feeling like they missed out on the opportunity of the Six of Wands wanting victory. I mean, basically, there's an energy wanting to be with you and wanting to uh, offer you something, but they do see you as the Empress. So they don't want to come forward without um, fixing or working on themselves is what's going on. It's like either they left a situation or they're leaving a situation, needing to work on themselves and you know the stuff that they've been through and then coming towards you and wanting something long term because again they have had an awakening the empress nine of cups they just see you as wish fulfillment and they want something very long term i mean six of swords moving towards you i mean they're they're coming towards you okay so i mean there there's an energy that wants to come towards you but they want to come without any baggage. I'll put it that way. There you go. That's what wants to come out. They, they want to come towards you without baggage. And this devil energy is kind of, that's what they need to work on. Okay. So they're trying to end that with the world um, and start something new for themselves. Okay. And getting them into this hermit energy. But there is no communication yet. Um, there will be, but um, not right now. Not until this person works on themselves. And I don't feel like they want you to know that they're working on themselves. We have Leo energy here. I feel like there's a little bit of ego. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like they, this person wants you to know that they left the situation and that they're by themselves, they're single, and they're working on themselves. Um, it's like they don't want to deal with it. They do have feelings for you. They want to come towards you. They see you as wish fulfillment. They see you as being very strong here. They are, are awakened to the connection. The sun, you are happiness to them. But again, they don't want to engage in that because this person needs to work on themselves hermit energy um, going within and trying to figure out how this processing you know it's like when someone leaves a situation it's like you've been in this position scorpio everyone has where you when you leave a situation it's like you have to regroup and you know and, and heal yourself from that previous situation before jumping into something new and this person's trying to do that heal it and, and it could be weeks it could be months before they come towards you here and wanting some sort of new beginning. But again, they do not want to bring any sort of negativity, toxic habits, um, you know, something to where it feels like a rebound. I mean, they're trying to avoid that. All right. So 
if this resonated, hit the like. I mean, but it does feel like, um, I mean, that's what the energy is coming out on that one, all right? So, yeah, that's all I got for you, Scorpio. Um, like I said, I'll be coming out with uh, some more videos here towards the end of the week. So, um, subscribe if you guys have not already. Hit that bell button so you get some notifications when the videos do come out. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.